Hello and welcome to Feral Direct. I'm Kitson Dragon, your community manager and host for the evening. And with me today is Mac, our uh, animation director. Let's just say hi, Mac. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really excited to be here. So yeah, play some Feral. Awesome. Glad to have you. Uh, so what are we going to be talking about today? I think a bit of your work with the studio, right? Yeah, a little bit of my work, what I do for uh, Wild Works and for Feral. Uh, kind of look at the at our newest avatar here, our newest creature. Sorry, um, which is which is a lot of fun. This is a good one for me to be in uh, because I did a lot of the animations for the Kieran. Awesome. So, uh, so that's exciting. I always like coming in and seeing uh, seeing what people have done and what they've created and check out my animations and see, yeah i uh, love it 
yeah, just see what everyone is is doing. So it's great. Like every time I pop in, I'm like, man, they look awesome. <laughs> It's it's funny. So, every guest that we've had, that's one of the first things we say. Is like just you, everyone is yeah. so creative with their their creature designs, with how they set up their uh, decals and equipment. It's incredible. Um, yeah. It's so yeah, here awesome. here we are in uh, City Fera. Um, we have our Karen running around. Um, we have this really cool peacock uh, coloration at the moment. Um, but that's because we're showing off. We are. We're, we're peacocking peacocking. a little bit. I yeah, have to admit, uh -huh. <laughs> I figured since you were, uh, uh, you know, one of the primary animators behind the designs, we, we have a good case to show off. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's like, yeah. Do you want to go yeah, into the, uh, awesome. do you want to go into the avatar creator for a bit and play around or do we want to get started with, uh, something a little bit, uh, more involved? Um, I mean, I was like the, the, uh, the customizer, so let's go let's go in there so oh apparently this is how you customize Ooh. <laughs> yeah every time uh, a lot of this information is stored locally so every time a new host logs in um we always see the uh the prompts all the all the startup stuff yeah and everything so yeah One yeah of our the... longer term goals is to have a bit more of a walkthrough um and your feedback's been really helpful with that everyone watching right now so um Hopefully we'll get that going, you know, before World Wide Launch. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we, have, we have a really good question right now. Um, so do you do 2D animation mock-ups before you start on the 3D animation stuff? Mm, not usually. If we do like a bigger animation, we might, uh, we might go in and like do some storyboards and stuff. Um, but for the most part, we don't. We'll we'll maybe reference um, we'll reference other other things, uh, videos and stuff like that, live action stuff a lot of times, or we'll like act it out. But we don't often go into two D. I mean, we can. I was trained. Wait, 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 Mac. Did you say that you acted out? Yeah, you know, sometimes. So yeah, usually like <laughs> almost all the time. You can, when someone is animating something, you know, even if it's like the Kieran or something else, um, you know, you can walk by an animator's desk and, and you'll see them be like. Doing the, oh, yep, yeah, see, that's the bird head. I recognize that's, that that's movement right away. Head. You, yeah. you know that? Yeah, so I did a lot of that. I animated the, the bird head on the, uh, on the, kitsune. On the kitsune. So, um, yeah, so you just do these like little things at your desk where you're like, how how does that how does that move? And, and then you you move around and you you kind of feel it, you kind of see what the timing is, and so yeah, so there's there's some of that. I mean, every animator is a little different, but that's usually me when I'm animating. You know, you'll you'll see me just like, oh, oh, <laughs> like moving your face and expression. Like, we're like half movements of like, how does this. How's that shoulder roll? Right. You know, like, yeah. Just like, just like, ugh, you know. I've definitely so seen that. that. Um, seen similar stuff with artists, you know, like posing or holding their hand to get like, okay, how do I get this hand pose right? Or asking a buddy next to them, like, hey, can you just stand like this for a second with your leg upright? Okay, they're perfect. And then they'll just sketch the quick outline or take a photo even. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, it's great the, the lengths that artists go to for, uh, for their projects. Oh, and it yeah, shows too. Sure. It shows. Oh, love the animations with the Karen. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't do all of them, so I did. I did a lot of all the a lot of the ground movements. So like the swimming and the jumping and the walking and the running. I did a lot of those. And then we actually had a few other animators that were working on like all the the, the emotes. emote actions and stuff. So. Um, and they did a great job, you know, it takes a whole team effort to kind of get these things. Yeah, um, absolutely. In, and going. So, yeah. Wanna, oh, we have we have a no horn and a tapered horn option. That's like it. Let me, let Here, me ask what the else chat. can we add? Um, yeah. So for those of you in the chat right now, let us know if you want anything specific for our design here. If you want no horn, yes horn, longer tail, specific decals. 
Just start throwing me yeah. your suggestions. If you want to make a really tiny one, a really big one. I'm saying tiny, long tail, make a make it look fluffy. A tiny long tail? Make Andrillion. Unfortunately we can't make Andrillion. At least not with the <laughs> options we have. You know, I think once we have um I believe the Kirin can unlock uh, a horn that's like a dual horn, right? I could be wrong. Oh on yeah, that. that's right. Yeah. 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 That'd be more Andrillion, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, the, these, these like big spiral horns, it's awesome. So yeah, you, that's probably my favorite of all the Kieran mods is is that one. But I think it's a lot of people's favorites. So is just yeah that like kind of goat type right. head. A lot yeah. of people are saying that we should make them tiny. So uh, Mac, I'll leave that up to you on how tiny we want to make our Kieran here. If we just want to make parts of it tiny or if we want to shrink the whole thing oh if we want to make our you know what i'm a small guy so <laughs> i'm gonna say let's let's do that let's just make them small tiny hunts. we could make them like a like a dachshund oh there you like go that. long body there we go short legs yeah so i have i have a mini dachshund that's Aww. what we have. His name is Hobbs, uh, Hobbs. and uh, and he's awesome. So yeah, we could totally do. Should we do the dachshund? A dachshund peacock, Kieran. I approve. Dude, check it. What up? <laughs> I'm a small we're, horse. We're buried. I'm buried in the crowd. I just change. I just changed my name to Little Sebastian. <laughs> oh, by and the way, everyone can um, find me. Thanks to Tumultuous Tiger for that question about 2D animation mockups. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. Good question. So, yeah, Nobody... shoot your questions, guys. I'm I'm more than happy to, to answer. I've been doing a lot of stuff with Feral for, well, since its inception. So, yeah, ask away. Why don't I take a look at some of the questions we got? And uh, how about you start running us through the new quest log? Oh, the quest log. Let's see. Hats and no hats or hat knots. Yes. Hats and hat knots. Yes. Okay. I love the puns in Feral. Oh yeah, me too. I'm a big I'm a big fan of puns. So for everyone out there, uh, just so you know, I mean everyone that I work with, they know this. Um, and there's usually there's usually a point in any number of meetings that I'm in where there will be a collective groan throughout the meeting when I yep. shared a particularly bad pun. So, but I'm a big fan of that. So that mac and cheese comment, yeah, that's pretty awesome. That so was a good one. I have a nephew uh, named Damien, and whenever we get together, people are like, "Man, Mac and Damien are nuts." Oh, geez. so it's not oh, like that, mac and right? <laughs> yeah, so, that one even took me a sec uh, too. That one took you a second? Yeah. I did. And the thing is, people give me such a hard time. Sorry, we're going to Lake Root Valley, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hot and oh. Here we go. Um, yeah, people give me such a hard time. They're like, oh, these jokes are so bad. But I went through a whole phase where I was like, everyone seems to know that it's a joke and they know the punchline is coming. So then I would start like telling the joke up to the point. They and set then I'd you just up. be like, and then I just and like then. point at somebody else and they're like, <laughs> finish and it. Half the time, half the time they never finish the joke. And I'm like, because of this. You can't like, leave someone I hanging. Everyone thought, yeah. Um, we're going to cheat here. It's not cheating. Where it's I'm here. Teleporting. Right? It's teleporting. We're going to teleport to the closest player, which is yeah. this person. I do that all the time. Yeah. It's good courtesy it's to thank them, though. Yeah. Hey, thanks, uh, Amara. You're awesome. Don't get stuck <laughs> in the sludge. So awesome. we're going to head over here. So let me pull right. another question up. Um, I was going to check. Let's see. Oh, um, what was the funniest thing to animate? Shybe wants to know. Oh, the, fu the, the funniest. funniest. Sorry. The I'm funnest mistaken. thing to animate um, in Feral. Yeah. Um, you know, um, so 
as the animation director, you know, I, a lot of times I give out a lot of animations and, and there's a lot of fun stuff that I'm like, ah, oh, I would love to like animate of uh, this, this character. Uh, but a lot of times I have to give it to other animators that have more time, that are better suited for it. You know, they all do such a great job. But I have to admit that when I saw the design for the Kobold, um, for these guys, I, I kind of stole that one for myself. <laughs> and I was like, I really want to animate these guys. And so one of the first things I animated on the Kobold, it's not actually in the game. But I did this laugh animation, right? And and he's kind of standing there, and then he goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, and it goes back, and it was kind of a it was kind of a character piece, right? It was just to be like, this Example. is kind of what I feel like, like their personality. It captures like. the essence of Kobold. Yeah, um, and we went into a meeting where we show up like our work, you know, and, and we just kind of throw up like in progress stuff to kind of give everyone in the company like a good idea of like hey what's going on what's everyone working on and like you know kind of get a good feel of like what's happening in all departments so i put that up and it was a pretty good reaction you know i got a lot of laughs people really liked it you know awesome. um, so anytime i animate something that gets a really good reaction where people are like oh like i uh, i uh, that's what i really like you know because usually if you really love it it means I've loved animating it at the same time. So, yeah. So that that was probably one of my more favorite things. To, That's awesome. To well, we've already but... got a lot of people requesting to see the laugh in the game. So, oh. um, <laughs> yeah, consider that an official feedback request. Official, we need to get Kobo uh, laugh animation. We'll we'll get it. I have. Uh, yeah, we have it. It's not gone. It's just and we just haven't implemented it yet. So right. Uh, so let's see what Savan has to say. Oh, he yeah. says, How could the Ogasa village do something so monstrous? <laughs> Beautiful. We of Arrow Peak have been nothing but amiable to you. Which of course means they can live in and out of water. That's amiable. not what that means. It's not? No, you're thinking of uh, amphibious? I think left or right handed. No, oh, ambidextrous. That's it. There it is. Yeah. 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 So, that's what amiable yeah, means. Uh -huh. Amiable means, yeah. All right. And uh, no Jana, wait, amiable so... is an old messenger program, <laughs> right? Is it? Oh, that I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. All right, and Jana or Yana? I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, let's see. You've been nothing but insulting towards our storied culture of hat crafting. As if we would use our precious hat twine, take part in your constant juvenile challenges to tug of war. Tug of war has much of a storied history as your ridiculous hat. Have you already forgotten my tug of war victories of the 12th dragon cycle? We've all seen your school day trophies, Fen. You use your communal beach to bathe them daily. The metals have probably wow. contaminated yeah. our water supply beach. by now. Yeah. Right? You use our our communal beach. There we go. It's part of the community. Ah, uh, you there. Tell this hatless oaf that trophy water is not extra nutritious as he keeps ins as he keeps insisting. Alright everyone, what should I say? Who me? Or if it's all the same, I'd rather stay out of this. All right. Stay out of this. Yep. Okay. Stay out. <laughs> That's probably you wise. You like how I asked? You like how I asked everyone their feedback? <laughs> They're like, no. This anyways. You know, sometimes uh, asking actually lets you know which which answer you really want to give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I love, let's see. I love the fact that these older quests are available again because this is stuff that I've also missed. So, oh, oh, running yeah, through it yeah. all, you get so much lore in there too. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff, a lot of info, and the dialogue is like awesome. You know, they're just funny. Yeah. All right. We got to clean up. We got to clean some stuff up, people. All right. We're going to, we're going to be, oh, there's no one over there. Oh, we got to go like the long way, everybody. We got to run up there. Wait, which is here? Ooh, nope. There's someone here. Sure. There we All go. Right. Boom. We're... There we All go. All right. 
Also, sorry, Mac. Quick tangent. A lot of people are asking me to pet the cat. So, um, I was getting I was getting jealous of everyone else's cool pets in the stream. So I have cats. And this is Moon here. So I put my little, Moon? little cat thing here so he can come and join us today. Nice. <laughs> so he's hanging out, watching the stream. And then he's All got right, a sister named go. Star around here somewhere, but she's probably off eating. Harvesting. Wait, which city am I in? Am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for hats. There we go. There we go. Yeah. It's a catastrophe. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know, Mac. You might not be right. seeing very clearly. You probably have a cataract. Oh. <laughs> that was one. reaching. I have go. to admit, that was reaching. Me. You know, most of my jokes, it's not about the quality of the jokes. It's about the quantity. Eventually, one of them is going to hit, right? <laughs> one of them is going to be fun, and it's going to be so worth it, right? So you go through quite a few duds. Um, That's fair. Before. That's a good point. So, yeah. Oh, there's another hat. Bam. Like three of eight. Yeah, I played this one the other day. Um, and the arrows, man, they took me like forever to find. <laughs> so yeah, even with so, the even with the guidance, there's you know we got to keep a good challenge to it. So yeah, take some. Luckily, the circle okay. like helps. So let's check in with some of our other questions. Um, oh, here's one okay. that I think you'll really like. Did you animate the Brody push-up from Fella Day <laughs> The Brody push-up. Well, I did, actually. <laughs> well um, yeah, I did the Brody I did the Brody push-up. So um and yeah, I didn't have a ton of time on it. So I like I was doing like all these uh, different animations and I was like, oh, I'll come back to this and I'll polish it up and um and I and I, I never got to polish it quite as much as I wanted to. Oh, I'm out of the bubble. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, great question. I do you guys like the push-ups then? Jeez. Brody's definitely a fan favorite. I know there's a couple more of his items in our season pass, right now. Oh, that's right. You can get his old headband. So, yeah. I want more hats. More hats, more hats. Dude, I did this like the other day. You think I'd find it like super <laughs> fast? It's hard. There's a. Oh, there what we a go. I can't quite see the, the number. My screen's a little smaller than yours. You got eight of them to find? Yeah, we got to find eight. I have like six, six hats right now. So there's two more out there um, in this village that we've got to clean up. Oh, there's one. Oh. oh, we can ask a few folks if that are uh, running around with us, too. Yeah, see, it, once you get down to, like, the last one, you're like, yeah. oh, crap. Where is the last one? So who is that standing so, next to you? In uh, that's Feliday. Feliday? Feliday. All right, so Feliday, yeah. can you sh do you know where the next hat is? And Feliday, you look awesome. What, is it? what did it say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, you look great. I love it. So, how long does it take you guys to uh, to decorate your your animals or your creatures? How long does do you usually spend customizing and coloring? Um, yeah, let us know. That's what I want to know from you guys. Yeah. So, Kit, you're gonna have to tell me what they say. Some people are Higher saying, ground. oh, we're getting a variety of answers. Most of them are in line with me of, like, you know, hours. <laughs> <laughs> so everything everything between five to ten minutes to at least three hours, three or more hours. Some of them take two to three hours. Um, someone says about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an yeah. hour. So, yeah, two or three hours. Well, I'm, I'm proud of you guys, so you're... We, we, we develop this and we're like, dude, we want to make this like super expressive where you can just like 
really make the creature like your own, you know. Oh, there's the last time. Really hunt. customizable. Dude, it's been sitting there the whole time. <laughs> Found it. Thank you to uh the hollow Halloween birds. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong um, in Twitch right now for saying hat there. And that made me <laughs> zoom in a little oh, more. Yes. Oh, there we go. It, it was right there. I even walked by it once before. So, yeah. Terrible. Okay. We're going to. So, Hello. there's a there's a term that Embers. you use when. Sorry. Instead of saying, I'm super <laughs> lazy, you say, I'm really efficient. Right? Efficient. So I'm not going to run all the way over yeah. to that other city. I'm going to go to honor there and work to them. It's efficient. It's not lazy. Huh. Thank you Efficiency. again, honor. Yeah. Thank you, honor, who also looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Sorry, hello, Embers. Yeah. yeah. I was, I'm still in a very cinder knocked mindset. So my first thought was, oh, Halloween. No. Hello, Embers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cinder knock is is over, and we've got new it stuff. Is. It is. Well, we do have some really cool autumn themed stuff. We have the new Voyager Sanctuary, which we'll probably go take a look at in a bit. Um, and then, of course, as you know, Mac, winter is coming. Winter is coming. So we'll have to see what we got coming yeah. up next month. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I, I have to say, I did some, I did some things for it already, um, and it, it's pretty dang. The thing that I did was not very much, right? But it was still fun, and and they were very cute. So something to look forward to. What up, well, Stella? I'm sure whatever you contributed has been amazing. Well, I hope so, but I'm a little biased <laughs> <laughs> to, to my own stuff, right? Um, That's fair. But, but I know I enjoy fair. it. Without having known that uh, that you were the primary animator on some of this stuff, I was already kind of geeking out about it. Oh, cool. I geek out too, but... Yeah, it's funny. Um, one of the comments in our chat from, from Circuit, the Minecraft Steve, I've noticed them running around... Oh yeah, that's a fun design, especially with the uh, yeah there there they are, especially the the creeper face and the tail. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Can you, like, off, I don't can you know. read off their name for me? Wait, where did they go? They ran off. Where they did you go, off. Minecraft Steve? Come back. Oh, there he is. Creative creature. Creative oh. creature. Oh, hello, creative creature. I recognize your name. Uh, uh, Nice. Very creative indeed. Great. Yeah. Something uh, to aspire to. All right, more arrows. Oh yeah, there's one right here. Boom. See, I had such a hard time finding these the other day <laughs> that I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I know where this is. <laughs> Except I'm gonna get to that same point where I'm like, oh, I've only got like three more to find. So we have another question. Um, Lindsay Jean Angelina wants to know, did you animate the bobbing senry head? Because they think it's adorable. Bobbing senry head? Yeah, the sort of the, um, the idle one of the senry, like the default head. Yeah, the sing-songy one? Yeah. Um, did I do that one? It's been a while. Um, that was one of the first ones. It has been a while. Uh, so I might, I might have, because that uses like a kind of a newer system that we use but if uh if one of my animators out there is is watching this and you're like <laughs> i totally did that um then i, I really apologize because it looks awesome People uh, love it though. <laughs> yeah i i don't i don't like claiming credit for things that are not mine that i haven't done um and so usually if i'm like i can't really remember no, Mac, you um, just cast an arrow. Then, Oh, where's an arrow? Uh, just, Someone told me. Just, well, you're out of the circle right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hard to find them when you're when you're not in the circle. Okay, Let's there's gonna be one went. back here, right? How many more we got? We got two more. 
Let's All right, see. folks. If you're if you're logged into the game with us, take us there. So Matt, keep an eye out to, to see where folks are congregating. Okay. Oh crap. I, <laughs> I fat fingered that. Sorry. Yeah. Where are people? I got the one up on the rock. Um. What do they say there? And let's see. Oh wait. No. I got the one on the wait, is there another one on there? No, that's a, a harvest point. Let's see, we've got two more. Come on folks, if you're in there. Give us a two hand. Two more. Did I see there. did I see an avatar designed as a skunk also? Did you? I get distracted very easily. Oh. So kids in oh no, just is very black. I like the very black. Yeah. Is that Voden? Vaden? Yeah. Apparently someone's trying to arrest me. Uh-oh. It won't go well. You're trespassing. <laughs> flee, flee! Alright, let's see. Wait, is there two. one, like... Yeah, there's two more. See, and I found the... Oh, wait, duh. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right there, of course. It's gonna be the easiest one. Hope so and then go. I got one more. Well, let's pull up into the question then. Um, let's see. Oh, um, Ishma Live wants to know how long have you worked at Wildworks? Oh, <laughs> I have worked at Wildworks for quite a while, actually. I have been here for twelve and a half years. Wow. So that's incredible. Yeah, it's a it's pretty amazing in the game industry. It's like. It does not happen very much, but mm -mm. there's a few of us here that, oh, dude, I found it, uh, that have been here for, <laughs> veterans that have been here for a while. Um, yeah, kind of the veterans. So yeah, I came on like, right. And I started working here, um, in 2008 and yeah. I, uh, I started as an intern um and and just kind of worked worked my way up so nice uh it's it was pretty cool yeah when i was an intern they didn't they didn't it was a free internship i didn't get paid so obviously i did <laughs> what anyone else that. would do yeah you know i i quit my job and i like dropped classes that i was taking and i said i'm gonna go work for free and video games and it's gonna be super awesome uh and and it was and it was it was nice and, I looked and look out. at you now look at look at me now warping to people <laughs> in a video game Dude, i can't click on them Let's who are we gonna teleport to now this person icicle 03 right. <clears throat> you're getting us there All right, let's see what other questions we got. Okay. I have a list I'm going to bring up now from yesterday. Um, so here's here's a good general question. What is a normal day like for you? What is a normal work day like? A normal work day. So I usually come in. I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> Hydration break. Stay hydrated, everyone. Yeah. <clears throat> drink your vegetables, uh, let's too. Let's see. Eat. Eat your water, I'm ready to settle time. this whole tired affair, everybody. Settling it. Done. Mm -hmm. Alright. Even your metaphors are infuriating. Yeah. Uh-oh. Not the bridge. Not the bridge. Circuit wants to know if the city fair oh. fountain water is drinkable. Um, I would caution against it. I don't know how many people have been splashing around in there. That's right. It's probably reclaimed water. Uh, I mean, anything's uh, drinkable once. Yeah, that's true. You know, whether you can re-drink it after and the effects that it will have on you after is, uh, is totally, yeah, Perfect. in question. Yeah. So I don't know that I would drink from it, but hey, you know. <laughs> It's not, my, it's not my cup of tea, but actually, literally, it's no one's cup of tea because it's water. 
now. I got I got my so. ticket though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You it's have a chilly your day, tea. so I'm gonna get. Uh, my did you get it out of a fountain? No, no, I didn't. I got oh, it at the top. Okay. Well, yeah, right, we did it. Quest complete. Should it? Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, we should go do the toboggan run. I was doing that earlier. Oh, that's a good uh, idea. If you're okay with that. If everyone's okay with that. Yeah. We're going to the Blood Tundra. I think it's up here. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> so then, Mac, what is your favorite creature or avatar? I have this question from Sally29. Um, my favorite creature in... Oh man, that's a, such a good question. Um, I really like, um, I really like the werewolf quite a bit, um, and uh, and I really like, man, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, and I like the jackalope. I think the jackalope doesn't get as much love as he should. I think he's, I think the jackalope is pretty cool. I love the jackalope because so. I feel really fast. When I'm moving as the jackalope, because all the all the animation speeds are the same for every creature, but the jackalope is yeah. so small, it has to like move more to keep up. So yeah, I always feel like fast... I'm just zooming through. You feel a lot faster as the uh, <laughs> as the jackalope. So yeah, I mean, I think those ones are are really cool. Um, you know, I I get excited about like any of the new ones that we're working on. Yeah, I gotta run faster. Shift that into overdrive uh so yeah so you know the next one i'm really excited for too i think everyone else is going to be excited for it but, but i'm not supposed to say anything no nope. so not today. So i'm not Woo. all right a toboggan it's a fancy word for a sled do this what is the difference i'm sure there is one Oh, is it not here today? Wait. Usually there's a... Oh, yeah. I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. Maybe it's not... Maybe it's not here right now. I'm fine. I'll just hack up this stump. <laughs> there! Now I'm not stumped! Ha! Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. This is what people that work with me have to deal with like every day. So it's yeah. true. We really do. Yeah. It's sort of like uh, it. The stumped joke goes uh, really well with um, what's brown and sticky. With what? You, you come on. You know the answer to this one. What's brown and sticky? Oh, a stick. There you go. See. <laughs> I do. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Way to stick it to me. Oh. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to be a All stick right. in the mud. No, you don't. I. We should probably leave the tree jokes behind. Right. Because oh. I, I just don't really have a wooden personality for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Ugh, Faded Rainbow just called it boomers. Are, <laughs> we, are we boomers, Mac? Gosh. No, I'm not of my... My parents are boomers. Yeah. So, Technically, yeah. the definition of boomer, yes. But boomer, I think the descriptor these days is more of a mindset. So, as long as we act young, we're still young. We're good. Yeah. Um, does acting like an idiot count as being young? <laughs> I don't know. I That's think so. usually what people are like. Oh. <laughs> Such an idiot. Oh. Tell you what, Mike. Like, why yeah. don't you? Uh, why don't you take us to our sanctuary? <laughs> okay. The sanctuary it is. All right, everyone. Come to the sanctuary. That's where the fun's at. So what other questions uh, do we Let's do we have? See. Um we have a couple questions about um you know what are what are good uh, colleges to check out for game design. That's something I'm not sure. Um I don't know. The college that I went to for for gaming in general, um, for game design and animation, um, it, they don't offer that program anymore. So uh, yeah, Lavender Farrell asked about 
good colleges to go to. I don't know if you could answer that one, Mac. Uh, yeah, sure. It all really depends on like uh, what you want to get into, right? Uh, you know, different different schools. You know, uh, do more. Check out this den. Uh, oh, you said den. Schools. Oh, sorry, I did say den. Old sanctuary. habits. This is my sanctuary. Sanctuary. Yes, we have yeah. the Voyager sanctuary here. Oh, and look at this. Awesome. Everyone's all sitting my at the here. table. Dude, staying. You're looking awesome. Oh. I hope we set up enough food yeah. for everyone. Please help yourselves. There's, you know, more food in the fridge. Yeah. That would be cool, though, uh, if you could open the fridge. Sorry, I got distracted. Schools. Yeah, schools to go to. So, yeah, if you want to do, like, art, you know, animation, stuff like that, there's several schools around the, around the country that are, that are really, really good. Um, and there's some really good online options, too, actually. Especially these um, days, yeah. Yeah, Animation Mentor, um, Anim School, um, I Animate. These ones all focus on like animation and modeling and some rigging, um, and they're they're good. They're really good. Um, and um, uh, traditional schools. There's like the the Ringling School uh, in Florida. That's uh, really good with like 3D and stuff. Uh, there's uh, BYU has a really good animation program of course there's like the really big schools in california like uh, art school and cal arts i hear um, uc berkeley has a good art program i don't know if that's still true yeah i don't know um the thing to do is to kind of check out like what people coming out of those programs are doing and how well their stuff is because at every art school you're going to be able to see like one or two students that are like just really awesome and they would be awesome no matter where they went right and so you really have to find because there's going to be the schools that are like they're just they're not great they're not good programs they're not they don't yeah. really help you get the skills you need so do your research um, see what the folks yeah, you, are saying that have graduated yeah you really got to do your your research and find out you know and not it can't just be like hey i've got one or two we have one or two awesome students, you know, it's like, look what you could do. And it's like, yeah, but look at your, look at 90% of your students and the stuff they're producing is not very good. Um, so be aware, be leery of that, right? Cause schools, even, even the ones that are hard to get into, they're still a business, you know, and they're there to make money, mm. um, you know, in a lot of cases. So, so yeah, I mean, definitely do are, research, are compare, not, so, yeah. see what other folks so, are doing in different colleges too. Yeah, just watch out for that. But there are some places that are good uh, here in Utah. I gotta say, Mac. Of Utah. Oh my gosh, focuses I'm, on game design. So, I'm so yeah. distracted. I'm sorry. Everyone's like sitting right. around the table. No, I absolutely love this. Like uh, some people are like, oh yes, this is cool. we're all sharing a meal, we're good plate, and we're seated, and we have our our knife and fork. We're ready to go. And other people are like jumping all over the table. <laughs> you usually have to be like such a contrast. Everyone, and then there's someone in the stove, I believe. Also, there's someone in the oven that can't be safe. Please don't climb into the oven. There we go. Right? Isn't that like the thing to say? Everyone, tell me what you're thankful for. <laughs> yeah, that's a good prompt. Yeah, everyone yeah. in the chat too. Let us know what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for these awesome people here, dude. I'm liking this. True fella day. Yeah. Yeah, start Without pulling mouth. out some more of the, uh, awesome. the names we get here, too. Dude, yeah, it's so hard. Like, uh, Funk Engine, awesome. You're looking great. Oh, uh, Lindsay Jane, um, Angelina just said, uh, I'm thankful for all of Wild Works. It's hard work. So thank you. That's hey, real sweet of you. I'm thankful this game exists. Uh, and Me Civil too. Two, oh, a lot of people are saying that. This game has been a lot of fun to work on. Like a lot of challenges, you know, we've really pushed ourselves in a lot of ways, but it's just been like just a ton of fun to work on and then see everyone come in and like just rocking it. So nice Hyperion. Love it. Yeah. Thankful for friends. Always a big yeah. one. 
I'm thankful for everyone I've met through Wildworks, not just lovely folks like yourself who I work with, but um, everyone in the community that I see every day. Like, yeah, but but mostly me. Mostly I, you. And the yeah, puns. thanks. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it's that. It's mostly because I enjoy <laughs> groaning around you a lot. Like, the, the <laughs> horrible, like, yeah, like, I need to make sure Max stays humble today. I'm going to go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't make no, fun of you. Yeah. Not that much. No, it's fine. I I can take it. I, yeah, <laughs> it's it's fun. I enjoy it. Is this a slaw? Someone designed as a sloth. That is so cool. I love it. Check it out. Can you read Garuda. their name? Off? Yeah, Garuda. Garuda. Way to transform your character, a werewolf, into a sloth. Genius. <laughs> Thankful for kobolds. Mac, do you like bugs? You're going to be an entomologist. That's awesome. So. I'm generally okay with bugs. This is someone in the game here. Uh, Ulfers, I think. Um, and I, I will be honest with you. Um, I tend to leave bugs alone. Um, but... Wait, wait, wait. I don't like moths. Mac, let me moths stop you right really there. Me out. Yeah, there's two, sorry. There's two schools of entomology here. Are we talking there about... Are? Well, we we have physical bugs, like beetles and stick bugs. And then we have game uh -huh. bugs, you know. Oh right, yeah. Well, so, entomologists, that's at real bugs, right? Game bugs. Bug. Game bugs are fine because uh, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they're kind of a cool bug, and then we're like, it's a feature, poof. It's a feature. <laughs> you know, uh, because um, everyone likes the bug so much, we're like, uh, uh yeah. Exactly. Um. I, I wish I had a good feral example, but um, to go back to Minecraft, that's how the creeper was developed. Someone was trying to design the pig, and then got the dimensions wrong, and then ended up with the creeper shape. <laughs> and then, there you go, the rest is history. So, they kept that. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty bad mistake to go from a pig <laughs> to a creeper. So, that's hilarious. Yeah. Man, this is awesome. Should we throw some more decorations in here? Do we yeah, have a giant dine... throne? Oh, like a... You know, why don't you go into one of the other rooms? Um, I think oh. one of them has a throne right now. Oh. Nope, that's not a room. <laughs> this is... There we go. There we go. Oh, this is more of a, a Voyager set and a bit of the cottage set, I think, too. They work really well together. Oh, yeah. And a few oh. things from the I, season I, pass. I think that on my season pass, it's like, you need to build something from the Voyager set. And I'm like, and it always makes me think of like Star Trek, right? Star Trek Voyager. Voyager. <laughs> yeah. And it's nothing like that at all. Oh. Yeah. Voyager awesome. is journeyer, explorer, traveler. Okay. We're going to go. Going across. Love how everyone's instinct is to go jump on the bed right away. That's mine too. Oh, of course. Oh, here we go. Dude, look at this. Here we you want to you do the sit emoji for us? Yeah, we're going to sit down. So this one you can craft in the game. This is the Moonsea collection. Um, I think some of it's still available at Twiglet's Workshop. but. Yeah. Wait, this, is, this is a fun one. There's a ton of stuff from this set too. Oh, yeah. This is way cool. Awesome. Dude, I feel good. I feel like a, I feel like a water horse. <laughs> so, you know, in like, uh, what is it? Greek mythology? Um, it's a hippocampus. Like, yeah, the hippocampus. But I always thought it was really weird that like the, the, the god of the ocean and the god of water was also like uh, the creator of like horses. And I was like, because those go together. Why not? Um, Why not? Who knows what they were thinking? I don't know. But he couldn't make him drink, because, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but... Sorry. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want a horse to drink out of the ocean, anyway. Yeah... A little, little salty, a little briny. Wow, look at these pillars of our community here. <laughs> Just standing right up there. <laughs> Let me get another question from uh, last night, then. 
Um, so this is a bit more of an open-ended question. So how long does it usually take to create a creature? As in, like, um, you know, do you do you have to take like weeks in concept to design it, and you know, all the all the different stages it goes through, basically. Yeah. Is the question. So, yeah. So it goes through concept, um, and we have some great concept artists, uh, Jenna, Jenna Scott, that. Taylor. Uh, Kim, uh, they're they're super great at what they do. So they will work and concept a character together. Um, usually takes uh, a couple weeks, um, and then and then it goes into modeling. We have an awesome modeler that does most of our creatures. Uh, we had a uh, Dave uh, on our stream last oh, yeah. month. Yeah. That's right. So yeah, so we talked about that. That usually takes a, uh, a couple weeks. Animation, rigging, and animation probably take the longest, and we'll spend uh, like a good month, six weeks, um, just to animate a character. So, and a lot of times we'll like we'll split it up, right? So usually what I do is I'm like. Um, <clears throat> And if we have a tighter deadline, then then we have more animators all kind of jumping on and, and working on it, um, so that we can get it done sooner. Um, so, yeah, that's usually a couple months, couple months for um, for, for a character, a yeah. for a creature. It's usually about how long it takes. So. And then NPCs, yeah. I imagine, are a little bit faster, yeah, but... at least now because we have a lot of the basic models done. So. Um, you know, we have the, you know, just to go back to Cobalt, we have the basic Cobalt model. And then we can just uh -huh. kind of make tweaks and adjust it anytime we create someone new. Yeah. We're going to put something in here that doesn't go at all. <laughs> You're going to just destroy the aesthetic. I know we have uh, a lot of stuff left over from Cinderknock, so. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Blood Tundra. That's what this room needed uh, a Blood Tundra window, right? <laughs> Red and green. Yeah. Contrast. Sorry, you were asking me a question. No, no, that's that's an absolutely valid distraction. I wonder if we can take uh, more comments from the chat about stuff to add. Yeah. Michael, don't you um, why don't you open up our? Uh... Oh, you know what? Actually, we are getting close to uh, the end of the stream, so I think we are ready to talk about our next giveaway. Well, so giveaway. at the. At the end of uh, every stream, we pick a couple people from each chat. We have folks watching on YouTube. We have folks watching on Twitter. And uh, we have a couple of, of cool things that we want to give away from a season pass. So we have a set of winter leggings. We have the snow shades, keeping with the snowy theme. The uh, winter forest witch hat. And the tempest pauldrons. Now, I know the tempest pauldrons um, are one of the more popular items from the season pass. It's got this really cool, like like moving storm animation over the shoulders. So oh, um, yeah, yeah. players really, really enjoy anything that has um, the cooler effects right now or you know different patterns that move. Um, those sort of designs are, are absolutely incredible. So um, gotcha. we're going to so... get a couple of folks who are watching the chat right now. And if you are watching, comment your name. Comment your in-game name so we can uh, go look you up. Yeah, and we'll take a look. And then before we head out for the day, we'll call out our winners. There we go. Already seen a bunch of names coming in. So, yeah, we'll let, we'll let our moderators uh, pick a couple of the winners. Pick a couple people. Nice. I don't know. What do you want to do with our last few minutes, Mac? Do we want to run around the sanctuary more? Do we want to head back to Seafara? We can let the chat decide. We do. Um... And if folks yeah, are busy commenting uh, their names too, so I don't want to uh, yeah. distract from that too much. Let's uh, let's let them do that. Let's go play. Let's go play a mini game. Sure. Let's go. Uh, we'll go back to City Fara and we'll go in. Um, yeah, I'm always sure a fan of, of Dizzy Wing Dispatch. That's yeah, Dizzy Wing Dispatch is is really cool. So yeah, I our effects animator. Did an awesome job with the effects on that. I mean, everyone does an awesome job, but the effects animator's on my team, so I'm calling him out because he's great. Oh, you know what? Uh, Actually, before we jump into the minigame, too, um, it's been pointed uh -huh. out there's a couple of Easter eggs around the shelves here. Did you know that? 
On the shelves? Yeah, on the shelves. Oh, I'm sorry. Not in, um, not in Andrulian shop. I was thinking of do or die. So, oh, and do or die. Yeah, so for those of you, if you want a little quick. tidbit, if it's up to you, I, I didn't want to take away from Dizzy Wing, but, uh, yeah, I figured folks would enjoy knowing that there's a couple of hidden things on the shelves that players might recognize. If you haven't checked it out yet, each shelf has a color coordination to it. Let's see. Oh. At this point, as often as I teleport into the individual shops, I hardly ever walk there. Yeah. And I'm like, it's just next door. I can walk through. There you go. Not, yeah. Easter eggs. Not literal Easter. I don't. I don't see any eggs in here. You don't see? There might be uh, <laughs> grapes. I think. <laughs> and apples <laughs> and cherries. Oh, there's grapes. Yeah. I know the yellow one has something from one of our other games in it. I don't know if anyone else has ever noticed that before. I don't know if I've ever noticed it. So many people work on things. Well, I don't want to give it away. Okay, I won't. I won't give it away either. I'm just showing it off. Okay. Then yes, someone pointed out in the chat, and and uh, Andrewlian has literal eggs in their shop. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome yeah these shops are are awesome they're a lot of fun yeah all right i think we need to play a couple minutes of uh okay. dizzy wing of dizzy wing otherwise we're let's... gonna let some folks down i know they're excited to see that oh okay yeah let's let's do the the dizzy wing. I will dizzy you with my amazing dizzy wing skills, which I don't know if you can call them skills so much as like it takes clicking. some skill, yeah. It's like a skill. I'll argue. It's like a skill. Yeah, yeah. Pattern recognition. Here we go. I'm in. All right, looks like we have our winners. We actually ended up picking an extra one today. So we have five wow. winners. Wow, we'll go the fifth person. So uh, I'm gonna call them out and apologies if I get the pronunciation wrong. So we have um, Spoonix, Sponix, S-P-O-N-I-X. Congratulations. Uh, we have Sharky. Uh, we have Shattered Crystal. We have Fuzzy T. And then we have Finch Wolf. So congratulations, everyone who won. Um, you'll see your items in the next few minutes or so after we log off the, the channel. We'll make sure you all get credited. And awesome. uh, thanks for tuning in. It's always a blast to see everyone, you know, who's in chat and in Discord and in the game itself as we're running around, um, especially with a lot of the familiar names you see with folks chatting all, you know, in Discord all day. And some of the more yeah. infamous folks that we have, too, for their, their interesting avatar design. Yeah, some really cool stuff. So I'm glad I could uh, hang out. I hope I wasn't too boring, you know? Like, yeah. I thought you were great. I mean, I get, right. I get sick of my own voice sometimes. So, <laughs> yeah. So I always feel bad for other people that have to listen to it. <laughs> It's and different. I'm in a lot of meetings, right? And so a lot of people, I'm like, oh, I'm it's like, a lot of I talking think... all day. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Right, and they were yeah. like, oh man. No, you were then... you were fantastic. Our chat is saying it too. So oh you were, good, you were wonderful. I don't well, know, in spite of or wonderful. despite the puns. <laughs> <laughs> I complain, but I'm I'm a huge fan of puns, honestly. The, like, the bigger groan is the bigger compliment. You know, it's, like, proportionate yeah. to laughter for other jokes. Yeah, puns are the future. That's where it's, it's at. the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, All I'm right. crushing it. You are doing fantastic. Unfortunately, this game can go for several, several levels. Like, oh, well over 100. Forever. Should I, like, quit? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap things up. But, um... <sighs> 
you know, thank you so much to everyone again for coming with us. Um, thank you, Mac, for for joining yeah. us on the stream. Um, it's it's been an absolute pleasure having you. So uh, we hope to see you around again sometime. Yeah, I I hope to come back sometime if uh, you know people want me back. You know, hey, I'm always happy to talk. You may not be happy to hear my voice, but <laughs> you know, I think it's great. I'm, I'm I'm happy to do it. So. Well, for everyone watching, um, if you celebrate Thanksgiving right now, please have a safe um, and fun holiday. Please, um, you know, eat tons of food if you can. Um, yeah. And remember what you're thankful for, because I know I'm thankful for co-workers like you, Mac. I'm thankful for you, Kit. Aw, so, you're sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we work with some awesome people, so it really is what makes working here so great is just the great creative people and our wonderful creative fans. I mean, yeah. these guys do such a good job. <laughs> and, you know, anyone with the name animated, you're okay <laughs> in my book. A little bias there, so. but I understand. A little bias, so yeah. All right. uh, you guys... Yeah, it's it's been great. I love seeing that what everyone does with their creatures. So, cuz they look they look great. So. Awesome. Well, thanks again everyone and oh. happy Thanksgiving from everyone at Wildworks. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Thanks for playing. And stay feral. Stay feral. <laughs>